YouTube Madden 20 season is here and the game of the year has already happened. This weekend, we've been getting it in on my Twitch channel. You guys can watch every single night live. That link is below. Also, stay up to date on all the social medias to stay up with all the bad news with the game just dropping, finding out everything that's going to be good in the game and what's going to be bad, and all my opinions on it. I know you guys have a lot of questions. If you want, ask them below. I'll try to reply to every single one of the questions you guys ask in my comments. But this was a great game, man. I'm cycling through players. I'm changing players. I don't know who's the best. I don't know who's you know going to be my starting wide receivers or dns or anything i'm just cycling through a bunch of different players so what's on my current team isn't necessarily what's on my team during different gameplays but man i hope you guys really like this it was against jacoby who is like the weekend league sweat he plays 100 games a weekend league every weekend uh and good kid man friend of mine so it definitely was a good game you guys are really going to enjoy it so let's go ahead and get into this one all right, so I'm kicking the ball off, man. And any of these offense, defense, special teams, you guys can hit that Madden turf link below. Get into that, man. I would suggest the yearly premium membership. That means you're going to get every offense, every defense I put out or Clef puts out or anybody on our site puts out for the entire year. It's going to be a great investment if you want to continue to get better at Madden. And here, he hits a dot. He's actually running New Orleans offense. Offense I ran the last two years. I haven't looked at it simply because I kind of want to run something different. That's something I want to do, man. I don't want to just be running the same thing and treat the game as I have for the last couple years. He has Lamar Jackson at quarterback, and I've said, like I said on last video, man, you can really move with the quarterback even if they don't have escape artists. Unlike last year, you could not move. As I get him to an early fourth and three, and he holds on to that with the running back, that's not McCaffrey. That's not Marshall Falk. Need him to drop that right there. But he caught that fourth down. Uh, could have got a pick six right there, but he swats the ball away. So the quarterback can still move. He has Lamar Jackson, and he goes a deep post route. My man, Pat Pete, got whooped. Pat P got whooped right there. Now, I'll be real. Man coverage is kind of the meta early in the year. You guys know I love Pat Pete, man. I have two autographed jerseys of Pat Pete. Uh, probably my favorite. I told you guys that on the last gameplay. But this game, I started to feel like, man, he might be a little bit too slow. And this game, I'm going to run bunch primarily. Um, I really don't know which one is the best bunch playbook yet. I'm all warming up. I have Drew Bennett. I have Ed McCaffrey and Tyreek Hill. I have two 6'5 route running possession wide receivers and Tyreek Hill, who we hit on his post route over the middle, boom, just like that. I'll be honest, I was kind of cooking with gas this game. I felt really good. Jermichael Finley at tight end, he's a, he's a horse. He's a team diamond for the Packers. Um, and so I, I actually acquired him. We throw the ball away here. That might be my only incom or incompletion of this first half right here. That's how well I'm going to cook up. But it would not be a video without the quarterback fumbling. Uh, and that's what Russell Wilson did. I told you the quarterbacks can move. But uh, so got in a little bit of trouble there, flirting with the line of scrimmage and took a hit. My man Cam Akers is what they told me. That's how I say his name. Akers makes a big play. And there's Pat Pete getting beat again. Uh, but we're going to hold the door right here. We're going to do everything we can. Can't go down 14-0. Going down 14-0 would be rough. Deion Jones in the backfield wrapping up Cam Akers, making sure he doesn't get in end zone. Third and goal right there, Tremel Terrell Edmonds. The team builder, Terrell Edmonds, beast of a card. The team builder sets are really good. I don't think they're very expensive. I don't think they cost a lot. I think they're, you can get really good players. AJ Terrell, Trey Waynes, as I hit uh, McCaffrey underneath again, boom. Uh, you can get really good players for a pretty reasonable price. Uh, I'm going to do a no money spend series as I go up top to Tyree Kill. Boom. Now, I'll tell you what. It, it's been a lot of Madden played this weekend. I don't think... There was a prettier pass than that one to Tyree Kill to get me right back in the game. Needed all of that. But like I said, I'm going to do a no money spend series. So all you guys said, how much money, how much money do you need to spend to play month? I'm going to do no money spent uh, on one of my accounts. Once the free trials ends, I'll get into that a little bit more. And uh, this time Terrell gets whooped and Moss. So my guys are kind of getting whooped right now. I don't know what it is. But they are definitely not sticking in man coverage. But there, that's boy again, Terrell Edmonds coming up with a huge interception right like that. Boom, turns the ball over as he was getting ready to score. So I had the ball with under a minute left. I have to finesse, maybe go down here, get a field goal, uh, hit another route to Drew Bennett. I'll tell you what, Drew Bennett doesn't drop the ball. McCaffrey doesn't drop the ball. And Finley doesn't drop the ball. Here we go again. Boom, corner route, Drew Bennett. That looked a lot like Madden 20 right there. Uh, on the rollout corner and then we run the ball right here 
get into a little bit better field goal range. Eight seconds left. We're just going to hit another out route to McCaffrey. I'm really seeing the field well. If somebody's open and I missed it, man, you guys let me know in the comments, okay? I really need that help to let me know who's open from time to time. 10 to 10 at halftime. Feeling good. Getting the ball. Pat Pete is going to redeem himself on this kickoff because he's been getting whooped all game. No, nothing. 24-yard line. But we're cooking with gas right now. Boom, hit that guy, Drew Bennett, the Titans team diamond wide receiver. He gets slot apprentice. So if you guys like those route chems, make sure you look into getting him. There we go. Boom, cross back across the field. Bennett just absolutely torching man coverage. Cannot cover Bennett, cannot cover McCaffrey. Dump the ball off to my own Cam Akers, who is the team builder for the Rams running back. Uh, so he's been absolutely a stud so far. So a lot of team builders are kind of the best cards. Just underneath, I'm really peppering underneath. The meta so far without these blitz eights has kind of been covered. Three-man rush, something along that nature. So you got to be able to find these short dots uh, underneath right there, Jermichael Finley. And just, there we go. Now you open it up for a nice corner route to Drew Bennett. Boom, I am 17 for 18. And here, we want to hit Finley again underneath. Now here... If you guys watch this, my receiver is going to get bumped and then decide to run his route up the middle, and we're going to throw a pick. Uh, I expected him to break on his route and break outside, but he continued to run to the inside, so looked like a really bad pick. But speaking of really bad picks, there's Jamal Adams picking that off, taking it to the... As I look at this play back, I really just should have challenged that wide receiver. On the left side of the field, I ran back into the mush and got in trouble. Boom, corner route, Drew Bennett. So I am 19 for 21 with Russell Wilson. Uh, we're going to take off here. We're going to get inside the five-yard line, take a tackle with Russell Wilson. Two-yard line, we're going to run that power O with Cam Akers. One, two, step into the end zone, touchdown, take the lead. Uh, what, three minutes left, three and a half minutes left, plenty of time. But there is runoff in Mutt this year. It's a great thing. So it's not going to be as easy to get these last two-minute drives or one-minute drives to tie the game up. So it's always good being up seven points. Feeling good. Feeling great. You guys got to play a little bit better defense right there. Simmons, I will tell you, if there's one card to get in this game, it is this Simmons card. Right here, he's going up top again. Terrell gets whooped again, and he stops on my computer. That's what I get for clicking off like a bot. My computer got absolutely whooped because I clicked off like a little girl. I clicked off uh, and said, computer help me, and the computer got whooped right there. So, my, I can't lie. Tyreek Hill on these post routes is are actually hurting me. Um, so, I got to go to score again. I got to go. <laughs> we tied it up in one play, and Tyreek Hill getting busy. That's what he does. Nice big game by Tyreek Hill. Now, I'm in field goal range. I should really take the air out of the ball right here, uh, really play for a field goal. So, we'll see what we can do. As we're going to step up with Russell Wilson, we're going to pick up a cool nine yards with the mobility of the quarterback. Uh, I'm telling you, that's one of the biggest differences in the games is the mobility of the quarterback. There it is, Jermichael Finley, third and one. Hit that short route to him, but he steps out of bounds, so the clock is stopped. Got to get that clock running. Got to get into his timeouts. Here we go, second and five. We're going to hit Drew Bennett on a little whip route. Boom, into the end zone. I actually tried to just fall down right there. But with the new dive mechanic or the new celebration mechanic, whatever it may be, I dove into the end zone. Uh, one thing, it's always been hard to fall at the one-yard line because they always want to make you dive and celebrate into the end zone. So we're up seven again. Here we are again, up seven, even less time. I, I just want to say just a, a minute less, really, as he hits this slant over here to Jerry Judy, gets up out of bounds. Um, closing in on midfield. We are under two minutes, 138 left. Big post route to Tyree Kill. Um, could not stay with him with my Simmons user right there. Next play, first and 10. He throws a little drag route. Keep him in bounds. Keep the clock running. He only has one timeout. We'll be cool. 40 seconds left. Uh, everybody's covered up on this play, and he's actually sacked and has to use his last timeout. I'm feeling super good. 36-yard line, um, but I'm going to hit this corner route right here. Right over Patrick Peterson again. Uh, boys, it, Patrick Peterson's just really not having a good day right here. Boom, in route right there. Caught, two-yard line. He runs, spikes the ball. Oh, actually, he's going to run a play right here, which is kind of crazy. We're just going to play man coverage. Clock is running. Uh, seems like the last play of the game. Put everybody in zone or just really put everybody in coverage. And he throws the ball away. Out the back of the end zone, four seconds left. What's he going to do? Where is he going to go? Um, I'm just pretty much playing man coverage, put a couple zones out here, and he just chucks the slant, touchdown, I give up the money, um, you see, 
good play. That's bad defense. I guess I had no yellow zones on that side. Did not lurk it. I kind of lurked nowhere right there. I had so many spies. And when you play man and they block the man, sometimes they, you know, sometimes they turn into a spy. But to overtime we go and he wins the toss, gets the ball. So I'm kicking off. Honestly, I've kind of been getting fried this game. And as a player, you got to know that. Like, I've kind of been getting fried. Maybe I got to switch something up. Maybe I got to do something a little bit different. So we're at first play overtime. Hits another out route to my man Smith right there. Uh, second and one, he goes to tight offset, looking for the corner route, and finally, that boy, Patrick Peterson, makes up for a game of getting whooped up and down the field, interception in overtime, love to see it, listen, it might not be pretty all game, it might not be the best looking performance, but when the game needs it, when your team needs it, Patrick Peterson showed up, made the game turning interception right there, now we just have to get in field goal range, uh, there is no avoiding the ice as we hit this in route over here to Ed McCaffrey. Uh, get it to 27-yard line. Third and three. Where are we looking? Out route, Jermichael Finley. He drops it, though. Didn't expect him to drop it. I have out some short out elite, but we have an iced field goal. We have an iced field goal. The new kick meter that looks a little funky. It's glowing. It's blue. It's, it's just ugly. It's a little bit laggy, and this is going to be rough. But did you expect anything else from a man champion? GG's. Ice field goal, overtime, Patrick Peterson showed up.